28 to 30 foot Palomino Thoroughbred. This is a rear living slash rear entertainment fifth wheel here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Just came in on trade. Folks were just downsizing a bit and they swapped from this to a uh, Passport Elite Series 23 foot lightweight travel trailer. Uh, this is very light, and I mean light, and I don't just mean in color. This is only 6,405 pounds, so legitimately, comfortably half ton towable, and uh, by and large, pretty well kept. Um, looking around, it's definitely been stored outside, and I mean, the decals show that, but what I notice is anywhere the decals would have flaked and whatnot, it's been... Um, worked off and, and rubbed off and that tells me that they washed uh, the, the trailer on the exterior. That's a good sign of preventative maintenance because that means they got their hands on the trailer and if they see something that needs attention they're going to take care of it. Some, everyone's different. I'm a function over fashion guy. I don't care about flaking decals on a used RV. It just doesn't bother me. What bothers me is if there's water damage or a problem with it and that's not the case here. This is in good shape. I've detected no leaks. Everything looks to be in good working order. The interior is about as spotless as they come. It's just the side, the, the driver's side of the RV was stored where the sun uh, got the brunt of it and the rest of the RV by and large is pretty much untouched. I don't see any delamination. I don't see any scary spots. Underbelly's enclosed. Um, she's, she's a nice trailer. Pretty nice trailer, eight foot wide, 30 feet long. Outside little cooking station right here where you can hook up an outside grill, though I don't see a grill uh, anywhere in the camper. And like I said, inside it is about as clean and flawless as I could hope a little lightweight uh, fifth wheel like this to be. If you are on the hunt for just a ridiculous number of big windows, then you have come to the right place. This could be the right RV for you. Uh, so the uh, super slide here you see outfitted with the uh, freestanding dining table. This is definitely a couple's coach. You know, not a family uh, oriented um, bunkhouse. Just not made for that. Um, this is a uh, hide -a bed sofa over here that looks to be an air bed style. I haven't looked around to see if the air mattress portion is still present, but those are like 17 bucks at Walmart. Again, I don't get worked up over little stuff. I look for big stuff on used RVs. I like how we've got the double big windows here. We've got the big window in the back everybody likes for light, but but we also have a, uh, a camping side extra large window over here to keep an eye on your campsite. That I really like. To me, it's on the, the proper side of the trailer. Um, you know, you see that everything in here very clean. I mean, they even clean the ceiling fan. That is very telling to me that these were folks who are just top notch on their care and their maintenance. If they, you know, uh, I said they bought a little passport camper. When they're done with that, I hope we're the place they come back to again. Oh shoot, I meant to set that up. The TV for this, the Concert Tone TV that came in this is present. It's just simply sitting on top of the bed. That's where they left it when they were towing. I just failed to set it up, my apologies there. Um, all windows, by the way, have two section day and night shades so you can have as much light or privacy in here as you please, either way. Um, you can see that the fabri uh, fabrics and the upholstery, fabri, that's a combination of fabrics and upholstery. Uh, I'm an idiot. I'm tired. I have I've been shooting these videos all darn day and I'm surprised I have any voice left at this point. Um, the uh, uh, you know lots of light coming in. I like all of the atrium windows around here. Um, this is kind of what I call the working man's rockwood. Um, you know it doesn't have all the super duper high end appointments of a rockwood, but it's got the same general like fully laminated shell, the very lightweight nature, the lighter wood tones, a lot of the same appliances. Um, not everybody needs all the, the extra widgets and whiz bangs and sizzles and flash of a Rockwood. Uh, that, that's kind of where uh, this one comes in. That's where it fits into the market. There's that uh, TV I was talking about. So original electronics all present and accounted for. How about that? It's a, another good sign here. So very common, um, you know, uh, no slide front bedroom. Before you had closet slides and bedroom slides, this is pretty much how they were laid out. Extra big closet though. This is a very big wide closet. Um, pretty common sort of uh, closet style toilet set up here. Nothing too flashy or, flashy or fancy there. But geez, I'm combining more words again. Bigger fan though here in the uh, bathroom area. And they do slot and ventilate the bathroom door here so that if you are, uh, say, dry camping or you just don't want to run the AC all night, you can leave your crossways windows open by your bedroom. You can turn that fan on and it will just suck hot air out here and suck that nice cool air in through the bedroom windows, which will keep you very comfortable on your bed at night. Uh, this is a uh, open uh, bed bath design. 
that gives us a lot of floor space here we just otherwise wouldn't have to get dressed to stretch out. So you've got a big sink there and a big, tall, clumsy, friendly shower uh, for, uh, well, not the shower's not clumsy, it's tall guy, clumsy guy friendly. I think, I think I need to hang up my spurs for the day. I think the heat's getting to me. I can barely get a coherent sentence out of my mouth at this point. Holy cow, hopefully I haven't scared you away from this one because this is a sharp RV and I, I don't expect it needs a whole lot of help selling those. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, everybody. Stay safe, have fun. Happy camping, everyone.